Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's Headmasters blog. It's Friday the 30th of April and let me transport you back seven days during which time we welcomed Marinda De Prano, the former head at Notre Dame, current chair of governors at the Ursuline and she joined us for a really informative day of co-educational workshops in which every single boy in the school, all members of staff, myself included, underwent fascinating insight into boundaries, behaviour, the important uh, word around consent, uh, and of course mutual respect and tolerance. It's uh, a hugely exciting thought that in September we're going to be welcoming currently nearly 20 girls to Kingswood House uh, and we are well set. Uh, we had our staff co-educational uh, working party meeting on Monday. Uh, we have just been finalising plans for sports and activities, curriculum time. Uh, and we look forward to welcoming in our girls and their families later in the term, in June, in person, um, who will be pioneering co-education at Kingswood House in the future. Really, really exciting, as I say. We're also opening up a reception class in September and uh, I'm very pleased to announce I've appointed uh, Miss Laura de Klerk, who's currently working at Rokeby School. She will be the new face of uh, our reception class in Lower Prep. Um, and I would urge all of you to have a, a look at our website and uh, read about not only her, but about the really exciting development of an outstanding facility there for a small uh, defined point of entry into lower prep at Kingswood House. Um, again, I think this is a really much needed but exciting initiative and uh, I am absolutely confident that with uh, Laura's expertise and enthusiasm together with Nikki Lambert in lower prep, it's going to forge an exciting pathway for our youngest members of the Kingswood House community to join in and start their voyage of discovery at Kingswood House. Uh, at the other end of the scale, Year 11, uh, well boys, uh, your mocks are upon you when we return to school on Tuesday. I know that you've been working uh, incredibly hard and uh, all of the teaching staff, support staff and myself, we wish you the very best of luck over the next few weeks. Keep it together, keep your head screwed on and make sure that you absolutely do your utmost and your best in every single subject. I'm sure that you will, and uh, you will reap the fruits of your labours, there's no doubt about that. In Assembly on Wednesday, I talked to the school community about Prince Philip, about his life of service as uh, the Queen's consort, and importantly, about his legacy, which is perhaps most famously in the form of the Duke of Edinburgh Award, something that we take very seriously at this school. I also talked about Jimmy Olabumni Adewale, a London Nigerian who very tragically lost his life uh, last weekend in pursuit of trying to save someone else's. Uh, he was uh, walking home from a, a night out in London I'm assuming and dived in to the River Thames to try and save uh, a lady who was in distress. She was subsequently rescued but Jimmy was not. He was 20 years old and um, his family have started a petition to try and get him recognised for his, his bravery with the George Cross, the highest accolade that a civilian can receive for bravery. And I must say, having listened carefully and, and, and read the reports of Jimmy's selfless heroism, I would absolutely endorse him for that honour and, and I very much hope that his family can commemorate his name with that kind of um, prestige and, and honour because that young man acted in a very, very altruistic and hugely brave, courageous manner and um, it would be only fitting, I believe, for him to be recognised as such. On Wednesday, we also enjoyed our first fixes of the term against Homefield. There were clearly some very exciting matches. You can read all about them in the newsletter. Uh, we're only sorry at the moment that parents can't join us for those, but well done, boys, and well done to the sports department for putting them on, and there'll be more to follow. Um, year 10, um, your uh, HBQ presentations today um, are ongoing as I speak and um, it's the culmination of a year of hard work I know 
um, the idea of undertaking an ind independent project of this nature is, is quite daunting. But this is the end of that particular journey and certainly the HPQ presentations that I've seen this morning have been an absolute triumph. Um, you have talked with enthusiasm and passion, uh, with great knowledge um, and no little flair about your chosen subjects. And that is your signing off um, and your work will be submitted later this half of term. So well done to all of you in advance of finishing your presentations today in year 10 and year 9s. You've got that to look forward to next year. It's a, a fantastic course and uh, I look forward to working with, you some, with, with some of you on that. This afternoon is going to be our first house day of the term. Thank you to Miss Smith and to all of the Wellington House staff and senior boys who have worked hard uh, to put it on. Um, I very much hope that the weather is, is kind uh, for us, but that is very much something to look forward to and I'm sure there'll be some photos in, in, in next week's newsletter about that. In the meantime, let's reflect on uh, those boys who've been nominated for mentions in dispatches this week. So starting in lower prep, well done to Ted Ramsey. Uh, you have been nominated for answering very sensible questions um, and joining in to the co-curricular workshop last Friday from Mrs Lambert. And all boys in years one and two have got a commendation for their excellent recipe writing for their pizzas uh, from Mrs Lambert as well. Toby Hasselton in year three for his science uh, bean diary and photos of, of, of the beans growing from Mrs. Marskell. Gregory Chung for his spring poster PowerPoint and also Gregory for being the first in lower prep to submit an entry for the languages competition. Well done, Gregory. Uh, in year four, uh, Cameron, I'm going to embarrass you here, but Cameron Edwards, I bumped into you um, last weekend at a club cricket match in which your elder brother was playing and my son was playing and I was impressed not only Cameron by the fact that you were doing some free sponsorship for KHS by wearing your fleece but we also had great fun playing catch and counting up to 25 in French as you were doing that catching so well done Cameron I really enjoyed that très bien into year five Harvey Mufti has had a great start back Jamil Hashemi a real positive step up in his work for Miss Forbes Harvey Mufti, another nomination for you, and Bertie Lewis also for excellent effort in the house cross country from Mr. Hendry. Eddie Bishop for being supportive in that same event, and Harry Boundy for uh, boundless enthusiasm in extra DT classes from Mr. Bailey. Year 5 uh, S, Aaron Arokandran, an excellent start on persuasive writing and language. Uh, Sam Atkins. Well done for your consistent hard work in all areas of the curriculum, Sam. I'm really pleased to hear that following on from our chat at the end of last term. Well done. Oscar Emmett showing excellent effort during house cross country from Mr. Henry. Uh, Madame Swift would like to commend all of 5S, but in particular Frankie Lata and Alex Forbes for their great work in French. Well done to Darren Usa in 6L, showing great empathy, very important, and uh, being a good friend from Mrs. Lindley. Zachary Yanni, an excellent attitude in house cross country. Hanara, great to see you back in school in 6S. Um, you've been away for a long time in Korea. It's wonderful to have you back and well done for settling back in so quickly. Benji Schumacher, super manners, holding doors open for his teachers and his peers. It has been noticed, well done. Hussein Barna and Harry Peters, well done for showing an excellent attitude and not giving up in cross country. And Kieran Schmidt, uh, created uh, not just a poster but also a video for the Eco Club over the spring holiday. You can see a link in that in this week's newsletter. Well done from Miss Highlands. And Freddie Taylor, nice to see you nominated for great interesting facts about Sir Isaac Newton from Mr Barrett. Into year seven, Max Rocheron, a very switched on start to the term. Bo Clark, great enthusiasm with the languages competition and some interesting stories about your great aunt. Josh McCrossan, super work in computer science. Theo Walker and James McDowell, also from Mrs. Webb. Kobe Wood in 7BL, well done. Um, really enjoying playing the literacy-based game Bananagram. Priyank is growing in confidence and making some really insightful contributions in form time, says Miss Black. And Henry Trianor, a really mature, focused approach at the start of term from you. Again, it's been noted, well done. Um, Henry has actually got another nomination. Um, well done. He was very 
uh, respectful during the co-educational talk last week. Uh, Ms Patel spotted your efforts in that respect. Into 7P, Noah Seeger, Enzo Reid, Krishan Idris, again very thoughtful during that talk from Mr Prino last week, and Emir Osterici for general good manners and helpfulness. Into Year 8, Tommy Wood and Zach Fitzgibbon, well done for demonstrating true friendship and kindness to Henry Sweetman in particular over last month. Uh, both boys have come to collect a badge from me. Um, Mrs Hornstetter would like to say well done to all of ATEL for their good work in history. They've been studying the rise of fascism and, and Hitler. And Dan Pepper, great long jumping from you during athletics on Wednesday, says Mr Barrett. Ben Holmes and Owen Courtney in 8T have both got injuries at the moment, meaning they're unable to participate in sport and they both love their sport. But yet they've come into school and they've shown willing in spite of being in pain. Uh, well done, boys. Really good grit there. Lucas Cressy, well done to you for a really flying start to the new term, says Madame Taylor. And Archie Spick, well done to you for all of your efforts in science. Into 9H, Mr Sick Day is very pleased with all of the mathematicians for their work on trigonometry. And Will Moffat has a nomination from me for showing great maturity and a proportionate response after he was upset at a lack of respect for his possessions last week. Well done, Will. Uh, into your 9T, Ted Reese and Pete Duncan for great book work in their science. All of the thespians in 9T have really impressed Mr Twinley with their work on an Inspector Calls, one of my favourite plays. And Follow Ieni has really brought the character of Sheila to life thanks to his zestful acting. I have asked to attend one of those lessons, Mr Twinley, so don't let me down. I want to see this for myself. Into year 10, Sam Slaney, very cheery and positive since returning to school, says Mrs Hornstetter, and he's obviously impressed Miss Patel as well um, and improved his science work. And Sam Squire got a grade 9 in his coordination and control assessment, which is absolutely top work from you. Joe Offen, a great standard of prep for computer science, uh, notes Mrs Webb. Caden Courtney in year 10, a nomination for Mrs Weston for being prompt and polite and smart. Um, and Mr March has nominated Caden as well for a really good uh, contribution to their study of Frankenstein. Eddie Bolton, great contributions in science, says Miss Black. And Mrs Webb has picked out Theo Spick, Ewan Walker, Daniel Idris and Max Mitchell Nesbert for all of their work in computer science. Mrs Hornstetter says, well done to all of the history boys in year 10. A very mature discussion uh, following the co-ed workshop last week. And 11B, Mr Bailey, very pleased with all of you and your hard work in the run-up to the mocks. And a big well done to Josh Johns, who has won a sports scholarship to the Royal Alexandra and Albert School. Josh, we know just how talented you are. Uh, well done indeed. Uh, into 11W, all of the boys would like to say uh, very best wishes to Mrs Wraith in advance of her operation. Um, and Mrs Wraith equally has said well done and thank you boys for being so thoughtful. You've used your study skills uh, effectively in the run-up to the mocks. Uh, June Park and Guy Newton especially for their respect and endeavour in keeping with this term's value so far. And Toby Reed finally, perseverance with mathematics, tenacity and lessons from Mr Sikdeo. Well done Toby. That is absolutely what I expect and like to hear. So it's been an incredibly busy but positive week. Uh, I'm sure we'll have lots more positive mentions uh, and I'm sure some different names next week. But before I sign off, just uh, a thought really for India um, and all those affected by the incredible, for all the wrong reasons, statistics um, due to COVID over in India. And I really hope that the Western world and everybody can unite and help to support uh, the poor families over there who are suffering so terribly. And it just is a reminder for all of us here in the UK not to take things for granted, not to be complacent, to still make sure we're washing our hands and that we adopt the hands, face, space motto and keep it absolutely um, crystal clear that we're not letting things slip in this uh, school and indeed in, in, in this area or this country. We really must make sure that we are not uh, falling uh, uh, by the wayside in that, in, in, in that respect. Finally, a reminder, it's bank holiday on Monday. There will be no school, so we wish you all 
a wonderful weekend and uh, we look forward to seeing you all on Tuesday morning.